gave the, uh, the uh, command, don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. It's not that they're particularly brave, it's the officers wanted to make sure to bring the enemy in close so that they wouldn't waste their uh, bullets. Whereas this weapon is a Pennsylvania long rifle, this is accurate to about 200 yards. That's like two football fields. Uh, as a matter of fact, a private Timothy Murphy at the Battle of Saratoga, that was one of Daniel Morgan's riflemen, took General Frazier off his horse at 300 yards. You know, that's three football fields. That's a pretty decent shot for a modern rifle. Um, so anyway, the problem with this weapon, though, is it took twice as long to load. Uh, they, they demonstrated over there before the brown vest. All you had to do was bite off the top of the cartridge, fill the pan, uh, dump the, the gunpowder, followed by the paper and the ball, ram it home, and you're ready to shoot. This weapon was more complicated to load. It couldn't be loaded from a cartridge due to the uh, rifling in the barrel. So the way that you loaded this is you would take your gunpowder, which would be carried in a horn. You'd have to measure it. Contrary to what you see in the movies, they never did this. Okay. Well, it's not only the fact that it's too much. If you had a spark in that barrel, you're holding over a pound of gunpowder over top if there was a flash of flame up, it would blow your head off and probably kill the guy standing next to you also. So they would measure the gunpowder, pour that down the barrel. Then they would take a piece of cloth, like this. They would put it over the barrel, put a lead ball down, take the patch knife, cut off the piece of cloth, and they would start it with this device. It's called a short starter. After a while, they got kind of smart, and they developed this, uh, I can find it. This is kind of like a speed loader. They would, if you notice, it's got the lead ball already wrapped in cloth. They would put it over the muzzle. They would start it with the short starter. Then they'd have to take the ramrod, ram the ball down. Okay, you're still not done. Then they would take the priming horn, Pull the weapon back to half cock. If you ever hear the expression, don't go off half cock, that's where it comes from. It's the 18th century version of a safety. You can tug and tug on this trigger and it will not go off half cock. They would take their priming horn, and it was a finer grade of gunpowder. They would pour it in the pan, close the frizzen, okay? Then they'd bring it back to full cock. I don't have any gunpowder in here, so, uh, uh, but anyway, when you pull the trigger, do you see that spark? Mm -hmm. That's what would set the gunpowder off, and that's what would cause the gun to fire. Now that process normally took about at least 30 seconds. That's if you're good at it, okay? Now, the reason that they didn't commonly use riflemen, in, you know, once they got into linear tactics where the two armies were lined up across from each other, if this weapon took 30 seconds to load and 100 yards away, you had a line of big six-foot-tall Hessians with uh, fixed bayonets. And if it took me 30 seconds to load and their commanding officer gives them the order to charge and they're running at me with a fixed bayonet, I'm not going to get this thing loaded by the time they get up close to